How can we reduce the transfer of impact noises? As seen in the previous uh, video clip, uh, we know now that a impact noise is uh, basically somebody walking on the floor, uh, high heels on a ceramic tile or hardwood floor, people moving a chair, opening up a door, dropping objects. Those are impact noises. And the way it works is very simple. Impact noises will travel through uh, density, will travel through dense material where um, airborne noises will actually be stopped and controlled by that same mass. So what that means is in your particular case, in a condo as an example, on a six, eight or nine inch slab, the slab will do a great job on the airborne noises, but will do a really poor job on the impact because since it's extremely dense, it will allow the vibration to travel through it a lot quicker. Here's an example using a little music box of how impact noises and vibrations are amplified through dance city. So when we play the little music box in the air, air not being a good conductor for, for impact uh, sounds, sound is not necessarily amplified. Where when it touches the hard material or the, the dense material, you can see that it's quite uh, louder and then quite easier to hear the little music being played by the music box. Now, of course, what that means is the, uh, the, the music box or the density will amplify the vibrations. So if I want to give you an example of how to control that impact noise, is if you take a floor, a hardwood floor as an example, on top of a six, eight or nine inch slab, it doesn't matter, and you want to basically avoid the transfer of vibration. If the floor would be levitating on top of that concrete slab, so basically the hardwood floor would not be touching the concrete slab, there would be no possible way for that vibration to be transferred to the concrete slab. But since uh, there's no such thing, so we cannot have a floor levitating, you need to ask yourself, what would be the best way to basically reduce that transfer? And the answer to that is an acoustical membrane. An acoustical membrane, basically a gap of air, as much as possible, that's gonna reduce that transfer of vibration. And one of the key uh, to that will be also to have that, that acoustical membrane as close from the source of the impact as possible. So again, if you have an acoustical membrane that will reduce the transfer of a vibration from the hard surface flooring to the concrete slab, that's the best way to actually reduce the impact. And if I can give you a quick example of that, basically you have a, a regular engineered floor that is installed over top a acoustical membrane, you end up with that decoupling effect meaning that gap between the hard surface to the other hard uh, surface, which is a concrete slab.